This morning, we just flew into Luxor and we are about to enter the temples of Karnak, which is the largest complex that the ancient Egyptians had ever built for any of their divinities. Not only that, but it's the only place that is in the whole country that contributed to construction by every single king that passed by ever since the Middle Kingdom until the Greek era and even the Roman had added a couple of portals into the temple as well. We are getting the opportunity to meet him with Dr. Mustafa Waziri, who is the current and Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, who's going to talk to our clients about the restoration, the new discoveries, and show them one of cleaned up parts of the Temple of Khons, which is currently closed to the public. And this is one of the privileges of traveling with archaeological path. So, and I, I get lots of magazines, biblical archaeology, archaeology, and discover. They, I started seeing advertisements. Lots of people advertised the tours to Egypt, but when I saw Hawass, I said, that's the tour I want to go on. Even in uh, December, it, it could be warm, which is what I was hoping. <laughs> and the food, the food is pretty good. The hotel we stayed in was nice. The bus was comfortable. It's just a cool place. It's, it's just the oldest place on earth to explore. Everywhere we went, we did have guards. You know, we would have someone in the, in the bus or at the hotel. So we were always watched and protected, so, but we were never approached either by anybody that you had to worry, worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's a higher up too in the government, yet he took his time out to come see us and, and take us on his own personal tour. And we got to see things no one's seen yet and, and haven't even been announced yet. So it's a wonderful you know, opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> 